Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dom, and this is another one of my LP series episodes. <laughs> um, I think we're going to bring Harrison with us this time. Well, at least for part of the episode. I've done just a little bit of work. Um, pretty much all it was was digging and placing these glass, and I did decide on the corners of this central central sorry the central core here um i did add a second layer of stone brick and i put in the glass and i think it looks excellent absolutely excellent i also had to move some of these um chests out which you remember were full of cobblestone um and i moved them to over here to like a cold storage bay which this is kind of how I do my um this is kind of how I do my most of my storage but I think I'm going to be changing my style in the near future um to kind of look better with uh this look with this rounded almost like an open feel cuz I'm usually in caves and uh I usually have like nice long hallways and little rooms attached but I feel like making a more open experience this time so uh we're going to bring Harrison with us and we're going to do a little bit of exploring around and I think there it is. It's like I know that I have some. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't have any sticks. What am I doing? I don't even have any wood. Wow, that's a little bit loud in my ear. Hold on. Oh, well, I guess I'm not making anything because I don't have any wood. <laughs> okay, so let's go on up. Um, I'm going to show you what I've been working on. I've been breeding, I think, just a little bit. Breeding a little bit of these pigs and uh, cows over here. And I'm running out of wheat. So this episode, um, we're going to start working on our wheat farm. A very basic, non-automatic version um, that I'm going to scrap and then make a better version of it later. Could I have just more than enough than I need? Um, okay, so let's go on up to the farm level, which is um, four four platforms above this. Um, as you know, they go up eight. So we're gonna go up 32 blocks from this floor down here. I started mining it out a little bit. Oh yeah, the glass and stuff goes the whole way up. It's pretty cool. Took just barely any time, really. Yeah, so I already started mining this out a little bit, the farm floor. Um, it's got just a little bit of work done to it. <clears throat> this is gonna go and uh, in between episodes, I'll do more digging like I normally do, but it's going to go deeper all the way down, um, and you're going to see this is going to eventually be that same circle that was down at this, um, down at our uh, main storage level, the main level. It'll be the same circle around us, and it will go, it'll be a hollow cylinder um, around the central core. So you'll be able to see down to the main floor um, from here. So let's go on over to the area that I designated for my half, uh, my semi-permanent farm. It's going to be here for quite a while. I just kind of dug into the side here and out to here. But this is a little bit of a problem I'm seeing. that It's kind of exposed um, to the outside. Um, for now, I don't think I'm going to deal with it in any way, shape, or form. But in the future, um, I definitely will. So I will definitely need some sort of solution for this. Um, my my idea for a solution is to make um, probably from here to about here look like it's sticking out of the mountain or whatever. You know, some sort of like a, maybe, I don't know, like an atrium kind of thing. You know, all glass or, you know, panes or I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I think it'll look pretty good if I dress it up just a little bit. Harrison's going to be stuck down there probably. So yeah, I dug out a, a 9 by 9 room, um, and I'm going to build a very basic farm. I'm just going to place all my dirt blocks down. And I know some of them are going to want to turn into grass, but we don't need that, really. I don't think I brought any supplies for a, a hoe or anything, so I'm going to have to go and get, get a, a stick or two from up in the chest that's all the way at the top of the base or uh, just mine out a tree. So, we're going to make this a 9x9 thing of 
uh, dirt, um, which we're eventually going to till out to be soil or farmland or whatever you guys need to call it. Awesome. Really basic, basic farm. The center block where this torch is, we're going to place a thing of water. What I'm going to do actually is, since I don't want to lose a bucket of water, I'll make a source and then fill it back in. Oops. Good. Okay. There we go. Now this is perfect because every single one of these blocks can be hydrated. Um, so that's a really good advantage. Uh, and what I'm going to do here, um, even I'm just going to have to sneak around on it um, to pick it all up. Uh, probably what I'll do is I'll just <clears throat> eventually uh, have some sort of you know automatic version out there, but probably a, a ramp or um, some other designs which I've used in the past. I'm not sure, but uh, for now this works. But let's go ahead and grab a some supplies to make a, a hoe so we can start uh, tilling all that land. I might have actually had a hoe down there, but we shall see up here. Oh, here we go. This is what I need. I don't need uh, Harrison's old house anymore. He's probably like, oh no, don't put me back in. <laughs> there shouldn't be any mobs up here. Because I've been down in the base for quite a while. Even if, if they spawned up here, they should have despawned by now, since it is light and they were a good distance away. Oh, I already have one. <laughs> but just in case, I'm going to make another. Um, here we are. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Okay, um, let's go ahead and... I want to jump down. I know I'm going to have to walk back up, but... It works. Yeah, I did... This is just so I can show you the inside here. Um, it's impossible for me to get back out, so I'm not going to kind of walk around the inside yet. But... It does go the whole way up. I actually stopped applying the, gr the glass to at this level. It doesn't go any deeper, um, as you can tell. This would have been mined out. And same with the the uh, stone brick. It will go the whole way down, though. It's just I didn't have enough supplies, really, to do it. Um, but I will have it done in the future. I also have made a, uh, a uh, functional version of this um, on one of my test worlds um, in between episodes, of course. And I will show you it um, in this LP series as soon as I get it built. Um, what I think I'm going to do is just find a really good uh, open spot to designate as a <laughs> a spot to record an episode of redstone redstone and stuff um, and I like to do it all legit whenever I'm recording but the test world is um, a world I always use um, nowadays to uh, I'm in creative mode and now I try new things out but Harrison you just keep on teleporting you gotta stop being lazy so yeah I try stuff out um, just like I um, for the Skyblock series, which I s just started back up again, I'm uh, I tested out you know ways to light a portal and all those kinds of things. Um, oops! Don't sit there, please. No, don't trample my crops. That was a bad idea. Come here, boy. Maybe you'll tell. There you are. Good. Sit. Thank you. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. And uh, just so I don't have to sneak around over there. I don't think I have any really many bones, but if I do, I think I'm going to grab them real soon and make all these plants. The reason why is because I'm really running low on wheat to breed my animals. Um, and I want to have enough food so I don't die anymore because I haven't died from hunger. It's just I've always been really, really close and I am slowly getting closer right now. Oops. Not very even right now. There we go. I know this isn't the optimal way to grow them, but um, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> cool. Also, they need to be lit. 
So I think they need level light level nine to grow. So what I'm going to have to do is place torches in each one of the corners. Um, let's do it here and here. And that should evenly spread the light out so there's at least nine. Pretty sure. Did the math out a little bit ago. Also, these torches are transparent blocks so that crops can grow because they need a transparent block above them to naturally grow. They also need, like I said, light level 9. I think it's 9. I haven't looked it up for a while to grow. Okay. There we go. See, I knew I needed another one for some reason. Just had a suspicion. Let's see. Since torches emit level 14, let's do this out again. 14. 13 will be on this block where the crop is. So 13, 12, 11, no, sorry, 12, 11, 10, 9. So out to here, I'll be at 9, which means also in this diagonal, I'll be at 9 as well. Um, let's go back to the center torch. So in other words, everything on this side of this diagonal, so this crop right here won't be at level 9, but this is 14. The block over, if you can imagine, that block is 13. Um, the one below will be 12, so this block, 11, 10, 9. So the same block that we were just at 9 is also at 9 from this. So that means that everything on this side is either 10 and this side is 10. So only this diagonal right here is like level 9, but everything is 10 or above. Um, or sorry, 9 or above, no matter what. So yeah, I'm just going to let this all grow. It will all become hydrated, which means that it's harder to trample and, you know, won't turn back into soil or whatever. Normal, sorry, normal dirt. Oof. Um, this right here, um, this grass will probably be, probably be bought, brought, oof, I can't speak today. Can't, will probably be brought um, somewhere in this circle as soon as I have the whole thing mined out. Um, so that it can spread onto a an area for me to use as um, maybe, I don't know, a garden or something. Uh, someplace also where I can use bone meal on the grass to collect seeds or um, flowers, uh, you know, to grow grass, and little tall grass and stuff. Um, I think it still requires it to be an actual grass block. But that's the reason why I brought it down. And I also brought it down to the storage level as well. Okay, I'm going to bring Harrison with me now, because I think it's kind of, I don't know, unsafe for him to be here with the door open like that. But that does make it more unsafe in my base right now, having that like that. Um, to make my base perfectly safe, I'm going to be adding, um, even though I know that no mobs will jump down, um, I will be adding uh, some a uh, preliminary gate at the top, you know, just like the... Uh, the piston gate that I'm going to have on the drops on this side over here, which I am also considering to move to this side. Not sure just yet. Doesn't really matter which side it's on. Um, one side will just be more ugly than the other, and one side will be more useful than the other because I'll jump down and get off. But but yeah, so I think it will be it might be on that side over there. We'll see. Because um, if I'm walking up the stairs or I walked down the stairs, for example, I'll be coming out just about the same area um, as the exit from the drop-down uh, place, the center shaft. Um, let's see. Yeah, so it might be on this side. We'll see. But it can only be on one of those two sides because on um, either this side or the one opposite of it, uh, there's obviously blocks in the way. And... There will always be blocks in the way because we are adding redstone under there and stuff. Yeah, that's all the redstone um, wires that will be run under that, which I still haven't really experimented with figuring out exactly how I'm going to run the wires yet, but I do know how all this works. I think I know exactly how I'm going to do it. I, uh, I'll just build it. Um, I'll build it on camera one time and we'll experiment with it and stuff. It'd be fun. Okay, um, that's been that so far. Let's see what else have I been doing? Nothing much. Okay, so that was the farm. 
Um, these animals will not be at this level. They will also be up at the farm level up above. Um, I do like the cows better. I know it's a silly preference, but there are six cows in there. One, two, three, four, yeah, six. Okay, move out of the way. I know it's going to be really, really crowded in here, guys, but uh, I want to force you to breed. go. Let's see who else wants to do it. I know you do. Who else? You. There we go. I like the cows better. They give you steak, which gives you the same amount of food. And they also give you hides, which are better in all ways, shapes, and forms, because you can use the leathers to create armor, um, which I would like to have at all times. So I'm always out doing something where I can get myself hurt. And even though it's leather armor, it's still better than nothing. Um, so yeah, this is all the glass I have left and all the stone I have left. Um, I'm actually running low. I, you know, that was just an exception. I put all the coal in there. But I am running low on coal and, uh, um, and charcoal. Which I do need to mention that I am going to be starting building the tree farm, a semi-permanent. It's what I call semi-permanent because I think I'm going to leave it here for quite a while until I actually start expanding this level. Um, this is not the level I want to be expanding just yet. I want to start working on the bottom one that we were just on. Not the bottom one, but the middle one. Um, and the one below it. The reason why is because I get more resources by digging lower. And um, this isn't as important to me yet. Um, the farms aren't. Um, the only thing that will be is... Uh, for charcoal in the future whenever I'm done mining out the blow, blow, uh, bottom floors. Um, since I'm mining out lower floors, I have a really good chance of hitting iron and gold and diamond and coal and stuff. Um, so I don't think I really have to worry too much about finding coal to smelt anything, any of the ores just yet. But as soon as I'm done mining out the blow, lower floors, um, I will definitely need more coal and stuff, but I like to use charcoal for all of my smelting things, so I do need a, a, a steady supply of logs, which I will be building a tree farm up at the farm level. Also, to transport the logs down, um, I will be building a shaft down. Um, sorry, yeah, I will be um, yeah, making some sort of way for me to bring the, the the logs down to the furnaces, or I'll just bring furnaces up to next to the tree farm and fill them up and uh, make charcoal at the tree farm itself, and then transport it down um, some way, maybe just by hand. We'll see. But I know it want to. I know I want it to be stored in furnaces. I don't like ever having coal and just chests and stuff. It's not useful for me, unless I have way too much. You know, way too much to fill up all my furnaces, because I have always have a humongous bank of furnaces. Um, I like to smelt large amounts of things at a time because I always choose choose to build large projects like stone brick walls, like a humongous castle of them or something, or lots and lots of glass, for example, like this. You know, took up all my furnaces at one time. Um, actually, more than one time. But, yeah, so that's just, that's that. Um, come here, Harrison. I don't want you to be on the other side. Let me put you in a the cold storage room for a minute or two. Come here. Where are you at? You're still stuck over there, aren't you? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Why are you still on the other side? Oh, whatever. Just, just sit. Come here. Don't come here then. Good boy. <laughs> here we go. Okay, well, he's just gonna chill out for right now. I haven't added anything to the Christmas tree. Um... But I will be doing that soon. I do need some more food. So let's go ahead and um, give the pigs their final rights here. Since I have more pigs than I do cows. And I like cows better. Um, so let's go ahead and do the, the cleansing of the pigs. Hmm. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, I got nine. 
Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six, seven pigs left. Now there's only six left. Good. I like to leave like about six left because it makes breeding much, much easier um, into the future. Actually, I should have left eight left, but whatever, to keep the numbers even over time. But <laughs> now I have enough food to sustain me for just a little bit of time. Um, I also do have some more pork chops in here, but that's my just-in-case bunch. Um, and I have one thing of rotten flesh. But I think I'm going to start feeding um, Harrison rotten flesh exclusively. Because, uh, you know, poison too. And sometimes if you don't have enough, you know, food, it'll actually... I mean, sorry, it, sometimes if it poisons you, it actually gets rid of more hunger than you used to have. Um, <laughs> so it's really not useful sometimes. Um, the only times I see it as useful is whenever you only have, like, one or two um, things of hunger bar left. And uh, you want to re regain your health within a really fast period of time. Um, so you just go ahead and eat the rotten flesh. Or you can eat a whole bunch of it. Um, and then bring up your hunger bar the whole way. And then it shouldn't um, bring it down too much. Um, because I think the the effect is only 30 seconds maximum. I don't think it stacks. I'm not sure just yet. Don't take my word for it. Um, okay. So yeah, that's it so far. Well, I know this has been just a little shorter episode, but uh, I think we're going to end it here. Um, so today we got our our farm built, um, which is good. I think we're going to go up there and check on it. Um, to end the episode, I'm going to eat some of this pork which we just got. I know it's just long enough. Here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to go up here and check on this. But yeah, we got uh, this built. Um, I'm going to, in between, I'm going to figure out some sort of, I don't know, I'll probably sketch it out on paper or something to figure out what I want to do here. And I'll probably mention it um, in the future episodes. Um, next episode... I'm not sure what I said I was going to do next episode, but what I do know that will happen is I will be digging more um, in between, because uh, big digging is very boring, so I don't like to you know show it off as much. Um, and I will be uh, running um, some of the animals probably up to this floor um, in semi-permanent areas, just like this. Uh, I'll be mining out um, this floor just to this height, um, and I'll be bringing the animals up to here. Um, I'm actually standing below the floor height here, so uh, I will have to bring it up to that level. That's why I actually laid the blocks above here instead of digging an extra hole down and then adding them. But yeah, so uh, next next episode we'll um, try to coax the animals to come up the stairs, um, and uh, we'll probably only bring a few at a time um, into the pens, but. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and uh, have a good day.